Hello. You know what they say, a week is a long time in weather. Two significant things have changed since the start of September. For starters, rain has arrived in many parts of the UK, but also we've seen hurricanes form in the Atlantic. It's been a remarkably quiet start to the Atlantic hurricane season, but now it's turned busier. Hurricane Earl, Hurricane Danielle as well. Now don't worry, these aren't going to directly affect the UK as fully formed hurricanes, but they will have some influence on the UK's weather during the next week or so, and I'll explain how in just a moment. But before we get there, We've uh, actually got what we call an extratropical cyclone, a mid-latitude low, which has been affecting the UK's weather since the start of the week, and it's still on top of the UK. It's brought lots of showers, and it will continue to do so during Thursday. You can see the scattered nature of those showers, but there'll be some lively downpours out there interspersed by some sunny spells. And then into the start of Friday, we'll see further showers begin, and also some longer spells of rain, potentially for parts of southeast. Scotland into the far northeast of England. That will push into Irish Sea areas later. So some heavy rain and showers continuing during Thursday and into Friday because of this low. But by Friday, you can see it is pushing away and eventually drier weather will start to turn up to the west. We'll start the weekend with further showers running down the east coast, but eventually, although there'll be a lot of cloud on Saturday and still the potential for one or two showers, for example, you can see some over Wales there on the graphic, there will still be actually a lot of dry weather about and some sunshine coming through. And temperatures up at around uh, high teens, low 20s in many spots. So a drier interlude as we start the weekend and actually Sunday itself starts dry in most places with some sunshine and it continues to be fine and bright in the east throughout much of the day. So it looks like a fine day for the Great North Run, for example. But you can see some heavy rain turning up by the afternoon in the west and of course the, the breeze picking up by this stage as well. Where we get some of that sunshine in the east, low 20s, high teens more likely further west as the rain sets in. But there is some uncertainty about this rain as it moves into the west during Sunday and more especially the shape of that rainfall, how heavy it will be and those areas affected at the start of next week. And that uncertainty is because of hurricane or by this stage ex-hurricane Danielle. And to explain why Danielle is causing a bit of a headache with meteorologists, we need to rewind the clock to the time of recording and see Danielle as it stands out in the Atlantic, still a hurricane. But overlaying the jet stream, you can see it's about to be picked up by the jet stream. It's about to undergo what we call extratropical transition, so a transition from a hurricane to a mid-latitude area of low pressure. But if you watch this space in the dip of the jet stream, this dip coming out of Greenland, what also happens is another area of low pressure forms and that begins to dumbbell around Danielle, uh, pushing Danielle then to the south. And actually it's this low that eventually pushes the rain into the west of the UK, not Danielle, which gets uh, moved along by the jet stream into Portugal and Spain, no longer a hurricane, of course. But it's that interaction between this low, the hurricane and the jet stream, which throws up all sorts of possibilities and different computer models are saying slightly different things. And what it all comes down to is how much rain eventually we see on these weather fronts as they move into the west on Sunday and continue to cross the UK at the start of next week. And another source of uncertainty is down to another hurricane or ex-hurricane by this stage, Earl. And the uncertainty with Earl is not because it's coming close to the UK at the end of the weekend, it's still staying far enough away, but it does throw up a bit of a ridge of high pressure, this ridge in the jet stream. And different computer models are just saying different things in terms of how amplified that ridge will be. And that has implications on how fast these things get pushed eastwards by the jet stream and by the upper air flow. So, the two hurricanes, the jet stream, the other areas of low pressure, they all interact in relatively complex ways. 
that leads to some uncertainty about how wet it will get in the west and then elsewhere during the start of next week. And it does look like there'll be some heavy rain as these fronts cross the country during the start of next week because, of course, that rain is being fed by tropical moisture. So there's a a lot of warmth and humidity tied up in this system wrapped around Danielle and that means that especially over Western Hills there could be some very soggy weather for Sunday and into the start of next week and some heavy rain elsewhere as it crosses the country. It'll also be a breezy start to the week but that breeze coming up from the south because it's coming around hurricane or ex-hurricane Danielle it's bringing in that tropical warmth so actually for the start of next week could look quite warm, especially in the east, if we get some brighter spells. And you can see that on the temperature trend graph for the south and for the north, the temperature trend looking around or just above average through the weekend, and then this uptick around Monday, Tuesday, although a lot of uncertainty with these boxes, these are the maximum temperatures each day, the boxes get bigger, and that means there's a bit more uncertainty for the start of next week because, of course, down to those uh, dynamics of the hurricane and the low and, and so on and how much cloud cover we'll eventually see. But it does look likely that if we get a bit of sunshine in the south or at least the southeast, temperatures will get up to the low to mid 20s and towards the north as well, temperatures above average up into the high teens or low 20s. But it all depends on the passage of that band of rain, how quickly it pushes east and how much brightness we get ahead of it. Either way, it's likely to be fairly warm and humid at the start of next week before those temperatures later in the week begin to tail off both in the north and the south. And that's down to well, more typical weather patterns coming along. It looks likely that for the second half of next week, low pressure will still be in charge. These lows coming in from the Atlantic, from the west, we're most likely to experience westerlies or southwesterlies. And of course, that means there'll be more unsettled weather, rain and wind and so on, especially in the west. We could even see the remnants, and by this stage, they will really be remnants, so just bits of rain coming in from ex-Hurricane Earl, so that's the second half of next week. But either way, whether we get the remnants from that hurricane or whether it's just other areas of low pressure, the weather is likely to look very similar with areas of low pressure, wet, especially towards the west, and those outbreaks of rain clearing to showers and some brighter spells at times as well. So, in other words, it looks pretty autumnal during the next 10 days. There'll be some heavy rain at times, especially in the west, It'll be breezy, but it'll also be warm in any brighter spells.